Mike Hughes here, I'm at Remora Marine, and I'm here with Simon and Addy, and we're talking about our, probably the best invention at the dive show this year, and it's got to be a what? It's the Remora Solo? It's a battery operated power scrub. Right, it so you can scrub your boats or? Boats, aquariums, quarries, uh, do structural inspections. Our patent here is so, on our impeller brush, so right. it creates suction when you use it and it'll suck itself against the surface. All you gotta do is guide it around. It's buoyant neutral, slightly positive, but for the most part you can let go. It'll just float right next to you. And um, 21 amp hour battery, so it'll last at least four hours or longer. Is, mm -hmm. And all of this is the creation of Simon over here. Now Simon, this goes, it either goes forward or back. Right. It does. It's reversible, and what that helps to do is to equalize the wear on the brushes. Mm -hmm. As the brush rotates, it's going to get wear in one direction. So when you rotate it the opposite direction, you've got a fresh edge, and the brush, brush starts cleaning properly again. Basically, it's like the Karate Kid, and you wax on and wax off. Wax off. Exactly. It, okay. And then you have different brushes, whether you want to just uh, slightly clean uh, a regular boat, or if you have a cement boat, <laughs> or, or something. Exactly. So we have very stiff brushes, our number four. Mm -hmm. This here is a hybrid brush that has some scraper blades for lawn mowing. If you have long algae or if you have thick algae, pasty stuff, this will go through it real easy. Find a boat in the front yard too, I bet. <laughs> Probably. Yes, it could. Yeah, and then our for the uh, most part, if you have a soft surface like a hull that you don't want to damage, you don't want to remove a lot of paint, mm -hmm. we have a very soft, our number zero or number one, this is the workhorse for uh, easy maintenance of a, a sailboat or another power boat. Cool, so you've got an invention that sucks, and that's the best part about it. It is, yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Cool. One of the things that's, that's interesting about this, and we spent a lot of time on it, uh -huh. the ergonomics of it. So we people like to use tools in different ways. They like to be able to hold it a different way, or, or maybe left-handed, right-handed. So this one we came up with eight or ten different ways to, to hold it. Most of the divers hold it around the waist like this. Okay. But if you're doing a lot of heavy scrubbing, you'll see divers doing it this way with two with hands. With two hands. Or one hand like this, and this fin actually serves a perfect purpose other than oh, looking cool. Right. So you can do it this Elbow way. Elbow brace. Rotating one this way. Or this way, left-handed, right-handed. So it really does, really does give you a lot of options on how to hold it. One of the things we wanted to do is avoid repetitive motion injuries, which a lot of divers that are cleaning mm -hmm. do get repetitive motion injuries. This allows you to change up your grip and, and use different muscles all the time when you're using it. Oh, that makes it easy for them. Yeah, it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, um, thank you very much. Um, if they want more information about the product, uh, they would go to www.remoramarine.com. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mike. Thank you.